Hello and welcome back. I am Robot Genie and we are playing Canada in Hearts of Iron 3. So uh, yeah, we're we're unpausing. Uh, we're we're on our uh, on our way to war. Uh, yeah, certainly Germany has annexed uh, Czechoslovakia and Austria, and uh, we Canadians here are getting worried worried about what they're up to. It's dirty. Dirty Germans. Yes, Canada is Canada is quite concerned. We're having having daily talks with our with our royalty that are over across the pond, and we're building uh, Canadian infantry divisions. We got the eighth, uh, twelfth, and fourteenth divisions here. Very, very nice. We're also uh, quickly running out of resources because we have a lot of industrial capacity. And um, with lots of industrial capacity comes lots of resource use. And uh, we need to get into the Allies because when we get into the Allies, we can trade with our Alliance partners and um, get really good deals and not be out of resources. So that would be better. We're just completing lots of stuff, doing production things. And yeah, things are things are looking good. I think. I think so. If we look under production here, the Royal Canadian High Command wants some uh, wants some bombers and light fighters. I don't think we're gonna give them any of that. Okay, uh, Italy annexed Albania. We are also pretty concerned about that. Why you gotta go annex Albania, Italy? What do you think you're doing, Italy? All right. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, we're just gonna. I don't know. We'll just keep these guys separate. We're gonna build like probably a whole new HQ division. To go, uh, to go slap around um, everybody on this side of the pond. We're not gonna even. I don't we even need any local forces. I don't know if we if we get invaded, we're screwed. Um. Okay, that's fine. Oh, it looks like uh, our auto trading's working out, and uh, yeah, everything looks looks pretty pretty good. I think, uh, I think we're doing well. Mm. Yeah, I think. Oh, I bet that energy to oil conversion really helped us out. Uh, what are we uh, inefficient research combat radios? Ah, yes. Um, mechanical computing machine. We can do that again. I want, I want that as quick as possible. All right. We can also do education. So we might as well. I like to get the uh, the education stuff out of the way. The fastest, quickest, whatever. The most fastest possible. Uh, we can add all the infantry stuff back. Do another round of infantry. Now we get 38 projects. Um, we only have 12.6 research to do that. 12.6 is pretty good, but... Oh! Danziger War, a last chance for peace. Ask the Poles for the return of Danzig. Did they give it to him? Did they just give Germany Danzig? Is this Danzig? Where's Danzig? I thought Danzig was on the coast. Let's see. Or is, or is that region Danzig? No. Come on, where is, is this Dan? Yeah, they did. They gave him Danzig. Huh. <laughs> Let's 
so do they not, are they not going to war then? Yeah, I think, I think uh, Poland avoided getting taken over <laughs> by, by seating Danzig. Last chance, Poland seated Danzig. They're like, nope, nope. <laughs> we don't want it. You can take it. Well, uh, AI Poland sticking around better than historical Poland. So uh, that's interesting. I guess for now, something tells me that Germany is just going to find another reason to attack him. Or maybe Russia will. Because we all, we all know... We all know Russia and Germany like to split Poland. French Republic is mobilizing. Nothing will save you, French Republic. It'd be interesting to see how this war goes in, uh, in this new uh, setup. There's, uh, there's uh, Luxembourg. Crazy Luxembourg. How do you even survive? Build, let's build a uh, navy. So we want five destroyers and and then we want ten overall transports. I think so. That's another eight. We'll go with that. That oh, looks pretty good. And then we'll build uh, more brigades. Now, uh, are we getting to the spot where the marines? Are uh, any good? No, they still they still suck. What the mountaineers? And the mountaineers are definitely better. These infantry with the horse toe support though are really that's really where it's at. Whatever, I'm just gonna get more of those. They're so much better than the specialist infantry. <laughs> it's a bunch of crap, really. Specialist infantry should be better. They consume more supplies and they cost more IC. They cost more to upkeep and they should totally be uh, better. Oh, look at that. And uh, we need more officers. Uh, should have been watching that. See, now that we're building more men, uh, we need more officers. It's all right. We still have over 10 research. Perhaps we can change it so it, it is uh, exactly 10 research. Get that number back up to 140 there, and then we'll we'll bump it back down. Normally, you have to keep something on those officers anyway, so see how it works out here. But that's what I assume will happen. All right, we're building destroyers. That is uh, that is very nice. Now we're gonna have three whole cores here. So Canada's getting a pretty good army together. Um, one that we hope, uh, you know, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna we're gonna do some invasion things. We're gonna, you know, Canada's not gonna sit idly by. <laughs> now I'm sure that our neutrality is still uh, really, really high. Yeah, 82%. I don't think the uh, whole increasing threat thing is working out so well this game. Uh, we might even need more officers. Yeah. Let's, uh, let's bring it down to eight technologies being researched. We're building a lot of, p a lot of units right now. See, in the beginning there, we were getting so many officers, but we weren't building any units, so. The amount of officers we needed never had increased. Getting more IC, that's very good. We're at 55. Oh, we need more of a bunch of stuff here. Oh yeah, now this is going up, that's good. And we're still completing lots of... Uh, Soviet Union has decided to start the Finnish Winter War. Um, 
poor Finland. I, ho I hope they kick the Soviet Union's ass. Uh, Sweden. Sweden has decided to send volunteers and material to Finland. When, the, when Finland was attacked by the Soviet Union, the Swedish government split into along three lines. One line of activists, including the leader of the Conservative Party uh, and the Social Democratic Foreign Minister Richard, whoever, promoted direct military intervention. A second middle ground supported by the Prime Minister urged indirect support and neutrality. The last line just wanted strict neutrality, so it looks like they went with the middle ground. Good, good for you, Sweden. Now, what are we doing here? I wonder if Sweden will get involved in the war. They were not involved in the real war. Well, they were neutral. Everyone was technically involved. Hmm, yep. Okay, 25% chance of blank. Maybe blank happened to us that time. I have no idea. There was a 25% chance that it would, though. Uh, I don't know how many commanders we have. Uh, we, well, we actually had a lot of leaders here. Oh. Got offense and maneuver. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Probably gonna need even even more leaders here. 